What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to do some custom shaping in Illustrator. Dread Labs. Um, so I have some different kinds of techniques on how to do uh, rotational uh, shapes in Illustrator and I'm going to show you it today. Most of them are based around the rotation tool, the ellipse, uh, the rotation tool, the star tool and the twirl tool and I'll go in and I'll explain it further uh, along the video. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just go and get, grab the star tool, make sure our foreground color is something different than black, because that's our background color. Um, and now with the star tool, um, from our center, we're going to grab a star. And while I'm holding this, I'm going to uh, push my upper arrow keys um, so we can have a shape that's uh, eight-sided. Uh, anyway, um, if you don't know, uh, if you hold shift, you can actually drag this and it will be um, uh, perfectly aligned. And if you hold command while uh, dragging, you can actually drag out the points, which will make the star a bit sharper. And uh, let's just do that right now. And then uh, without uh, command uh, holding, let's just resize it so it's a bit smaller. Like this. And... Yeah, let's just make it like this. Um, all right, so um, one thing that we can do to rotate these uh, stars is we're going to go grab the direct selection tool. And without selecting the outer points, just select the inner points here. So now you can already have like some kind of spider wrap in here, like this. Um, so but what we can do is we can grab our uh, rotation tool which we can grab by clicking here or click on R and make sure that the anchor point here is in the center and when we start dragging you can actually start seeing that we can make some kind of ninja star uh, ish thing and then with dragging these points in we can quickly make some custom shapes that we can use in our artworks um, so the next one that we can do is something with the twirl tool. Um, let's just make another star. And what we want to do right now is we're going to go grab our pen tool and just click once. So we literally have a path of one anchor point and we're going to make sure that this anchor point is aligned to our uh, middle of our artboard. So with both of these selected with the normal selection tool, uh, we can go in and search for the twirl tool, which is under the width tool. And if you don't know what this does, this is basically a brush tool that will twirl uh, your shapes like this. And it's kind of, uh, because it's so organic, it's kind of hard to uh, use this in a symmetrical way. So what we want to do is uh, make sure that our, uh, uh, make sure that our twirl tool is aligned to the anchor point that we just made and while holding option dragging this out and holding shift we can actually resize it so that it's around, I would say around halfway of these points of the stars and then if we just click once you can actually already see that we made a quick uh, star basically uh, but if we double click on the twirl tool and lower the twirl rate here to let's say 4 you actually have a lot more, lot more time experimenting and seeing what this does. So and now I'm going to hold Option, Alder Option again, and resizing the brush. And as you can see, we can just rotate it however we want. And by making this negative four, we can rotate it back. So if we resize our brush a bit smaller now, you can actually see that the endings can be distorted back again which will leave us with some pretty interesting shapes in just a matter of moments basically and then we have our uh, last part and this is just a rotation t uh, tool but I just wanted to make sure um, because some people find it a bit annoying or working with it um, so I thought I would just show you how this rotation tool works um, so this is a tribal shape that I made uh, using the same techniques as our tribal shapes uh, in Illustrator video um, the link to that will be up right now um, Anyway, what we want to do is we're going to put this uh, a little bit offset somewhere. It doesn't really matter uh, if we do it perfectly or not. And then we're going to click on our rotation tool. 
so the first time we just click this uh, and we hold it we can actually rotate it around its own axis which is in the center what we want to do is we're going to click once on this outer endpoint and as you can see the anchor point is now here which means that we can rotate this around this point um, now holding all the option and clicking will bring up this menu so what we want to do is we're going to, we want uh, this to be rotated equally uh, six times for example so let's just type in 360 slash six so this means 360 is a full circle divided by six uh, which will uh, provide us with a circle made out of six different shapes here so if we click on preview you can actually see that this is now shifted 60 degrees around this anchor point and now that we click on copy we can actually see that we made the first copy so by pressing command or control d you actually repeat this rotation action so one two three four and we already made a shape uh, again in just a few seconds um, out of a shape that we already used so uh, if we group this and center it these are uh, some examples of the many possibilities that you have in Illustrator making some custom shapes. Um, so I hope you feel inspired by this video and I hope you learned something new. Um, the project file for this will be available on Patreon. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials in the future, please let me know in the comments or uh, join us on Discord. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.